everybody. Uh, my name is Abhi Shamsundar. I'm a part of the product management team. Uh, I focus on wired assurance. I'll, I'll brief you on a quick reiteration on what wired assurance as a portfolio is, uh, as well as what we are planning to do today. Our focus currently, or uh, uh, from a missed standpoint of it, as, is encompassing every piece of the uh, network, every network equipment, all the way from wireless, wired, and WAN, and ultimately give you answers on what the experience is like. Uh, Christian spoke about, you know, your, exp your Zoom call breaking up. Where could be the problem? We have the telemetry coming in from Wi-Fi. We have telemetry coming in from wired, as well as the WAN portfolio. Uh, our focus is on how do we get the most out of this telemetry and make the most sense out of it, answer tough questions as to why the, uh, there was a problem with, or an experience with your, uh, uh, with your uh, application and answer that as to where the problem is. So uh, we'll focus on Campus Fabric today. Uh, before Campus Fabric, wired assurance is the piece of uh, what Christian said, we're mystifying stuff. Uh, we're, we're, talk we're talking about how are we able to onboard devices faster? How are we able to get uh, easy uh, a way of deploying and deploying at scale? Uh, and also the last part of it is how do we operate? So day zero, day one, and day two, as we as we classify them, uh, day zero, where how are you able to onboard devices? We we brought every single aspect of how we onboarded uh, Mist APs to the world of switching as well. Every single switch that goes out is shipped out with a claim code. Uh, you can actually either onboard all of your devices that are part of a particular purchase order in one shot, or you could do them via a mobile app as you go installing them, racking them, and stacking them. So the, the goal for us is to make this uh, make the deployment as console free, uh, console cable free as, uh, as possible. Uh, you you uh, you take a snapshot from your mobile app. Uh, you're able to claim the device, onboard that. You would have already configured them at scale, and the device would be able to automatically connect to the cloud, get its config, and start serving its clients, be it APs, be it switches, uh, be it uh, subsequent switches from there on. That's the day zero part of it. The deployment piece, there's a host of things that, that we have, again, brought automation into. If we can identify the nature of the device, we can give it the config. If it's a camera, if we identify the device as a camera, you could tell us what the camera config looks like. We call that dynamic port configuration, and that's that's uh, enabled in, into the into the network. Uh, and deployment at scale. We'll talk about deploying an entire campus. Uh, we've heard from the delegate uh, panel before. Uh, it's great to see videos, but you would rather see them in action. Today, we're going to deploy an entire campus network right here in front of you, mm -hmm. and we're going to have a surprise at the end of it as well as to how we can make that you know make the learning part of it simple as well. Uh, Day two, uh, it's it's the, our our whole focus. Uh, when we uh, moved into the world of uh, learning wired, was to say how can we make day two operations simpler. Uh, we spoke about you know uh, the SLEs. We we brought the construct of SLEs from the wireless world. SLEs answer the question. Uh, SLEs, as we call them, as service level expectations, answer the question: How is your network doing from a client experience perspective, and not just you know the uh, devices being up or down, the network devices being up or down. So we'll talk about Marvis Actions today. Uh, Marvis Actions uh, is, is your cup of coffee view and also alerting. Our goal for something from the cloud to administer this is to make an administrator's life easy uh, in terms of automation. Uh, we will sprinkle AI uh, to make that happen, but our goal is, is eventually to make the life of the network administrator simpler. So. Uh, we're going to talk about AI-driven campus fabric today. Uh, so what is AI-driven campus fabric? Campus fabric is the technology that we have ran. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it uses EVP and VXLAN underneath for us to enable uh, all of the new challenges that, that come alongside from a perspective of running campuses at scale. Uh, so we use EVP and VXLAN uh, uh, to make those possible. Rick will talk in great detail. You sprinkle Mist AI on top of it, utilizing Mist AI to deploy faster, understand problems faster. That gives you uh, AI-driven campus fabric. I'll quickly run through a two-minute demo of wired assurance as a whole, and then subsequently, Rick will walk us through campus fabric in detail, what, what it means, how we're using the technology, what are the problems it solves, and we'll run a demo of building an entire campus uh, right here. 
So uh, from a construct of us saying, how are we able to solve the problems? Uh, we'll, we'll showcase all the entire building uh, of, of the network uh, in front of you. So the day zero and day one, we'll, we will definitely showcase in the upcoming demo. Let's talk about day two a little bit. We said we are able to answer the question of how is your network doing? And this is the wireless SLEs uh, framework we started off with. This always starts with two questions. Is your client able to connect okay, which we call as you know the pre-connection? -pre and is, is your client able to pass traffic okay if there are any experience issues during this process? The same constructs were brought into the world of wired networking as well. Wired networking, as uh, most, most times it may seem uh, simple and uh, may not uh, necessarily seem as complex as wireless, but there are a host of problems that we can bring about. The answer for always for us to say, you know, uh, there are issues with your switch health, we'll talk about a, a little bit, but are they able to connect okay? If they're not, what could be the reasons? A client coming in, is it able to authorize and authenticate okay? Uh, is it able to get its DHCP okay and pass traffic? If it starts going through the process of passing traffic, is it is the experience of traffic uh, pa passing traffic okay? Is it hitting congestion on the network? Uh, are you uh, is it being storm controlled? My favorite one though, uh, we talk about anomalies on the interface uh, segment itself. Uh, we we go all the way from layer one issues. Uh, and MTU issues from layer two, and also negotiation failures, if there are congestion in the network. All of these pieces are all brought to you and said, you may have 3,000 ports in your network. This Juniper Networks uh, organization actually is an organization of close to 300 switches in all. Now, among, uh, amongst three, this particular site by itself, amongst the 300 switches, if each of them is also 50 ports, we're still talking 15 to 20,000 ports here. Amongst your 15 to 20,000 ports, how many of your ports uh, are actually seeing an issue is what the end goal for um, um, the wire assurance portfolio is. Bringing your ability to, to say, this is running at scale, we are telling you exactly, uh, the internet. We're, we're telling you exactly the devices that are affected and telling you that they, these are the places where you would want to look at. Yeah, yeah, sorry, David Penals are here. Yeah, I couldn't avoid but look at the throughput section. So in which way are we measuring throughput? There is an agent sitting in then into the box and is is running it in both directions and sort of probe or how do you know that there's actually a good throughput? Because it, it might be also derivated from derived sorry from several things. There's a thick Correct. wall in front of it, or maybe there is something else is A to do or what? 11 and you know, ABG and I see whatever. There, there could be many reasons, but yes. how then are you able to see that the actual throughput that you're measuring here is correct? What's the method? Uh, we'll, we'll focus on the, uh, the wi this wireless section to it as well. Uh, like you mentioned, right. ABG and the capacity of the device, uh, where we actually say that the device capacity is what is limiting it. That comes from the wireless side of the house. Mm -hmm. From the wired side of the house, we have the device constantly talking to the cloud. The device is having a heartbeat to the cloud, so we don't have to actually have an agent. Rather, we baseline the actual latency jitter metrics for us to look, and loss metrics for us to look at it. So now you're looking at the connectivity of any northbound traffic is a representation of what's happening on it. So we don't run agents on, on, the, on the device for us to say, are we talking to AWS okay? But it's more about, we have, uh, we have our cloud, uh, we have our own switches. We are always constantly talking. We have a heartbeat. Uh, we baseline uh, what's your uh, latency jitter metrics like, and we are able to uh, actually extrapolate from the fact that. Uh, so, so these, sorry again. <laughs> so these throughput that you're showing me here is box wise, as in backplane capacity, or are we going into the specific port by port by port, then stats, and then okay, so in port one you're getting 100, but maybe in port two you're getting a gig. Yeah, I, I was gonna piggy to piggyback off off David's like question, like how deep, can, excuse me, how deep can you go with this? You know, like can you click on the device? Not only just see the throughput, but okay, well here's the health of it. Here's the time. Like if you needed to generate some kind of report yeah. for yourself or your team, and then maybe export that into something, you know, and kind of monitor device health and things of that nature. 
So uh, to, uh, the, for the two questions, how deep can we go? Uh, we start with uh, saying this is a distribution. Okay. Subsequently, you can go into the exact interface. Okay, good. Uh, and then you can say, you can also distribute it based on VLANs if there are multiple VLANs in the network. In fact, we can go to go based off of client as well because we know the client MAC address of the device that's connected yeah. to the client. Okay, so then them. the throughput at the top is box wise, in this case is global. Correct. It it's is global, global on a per box base. Excellent. Thank okay. You. That was awesome. um, and then subsequently, if you if you know, you know, amongst so what we are showing here in the interfaces section, uh, in all honesty, is amongst your um, you know fifteen thousand ports that across three hundred switches, mm -hmm. we are giving you those. 20 or 15, whatever the number of interfaces there are that are in this state. So you are not going and looking at uh, telemetry or instance from every single interface. We are doing that for you, but we are telling you uh, as an admin, your focus should be here. Uh, and also the same case where we were telling about we classify on failure rate so that you can actually focus on the right elements. Okay. Then in case that, because the, I understand that this is already filtered out and then you get just the more relevant things, but if I would want them to go into details for whatever the reason, doesn't matter, then I can also do it. So yeah. it doesn't have just the simplified thing in which you, you're the one deciding what I should be looking at, right? Yeah, we'll tell you globally so that it's easy for you mm -hmm. because we're talking scale here uh, yes. you can actually say uh, if you don't if you not not only just this particular site mm -hmm. you want the health of your entire organization in, in one shot uh, you want to filter this by the worst 100 sites we have uh, customers who have 3000 4000 sites on, on on the network how do they focus on on the right ones but to answer your question if you want to focus on and say i want to know about this particular port you can mm -hmm. always dig deep Exactly awesome. to the port of okay. choice. I love that the, the filtering because it's the worst one hundred. So because nobody in, in monitoring wants to see the cute ones. Cute. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so that's that's the goal. Uh, so that's that's wire assurance in a quick nutshell. Uh, Can Rita Younger is um, there a way to customize this dashboard so you're looking at a view that has maybe throughput and some other metrics on the same window? Uh, if I go into the monitor screen, uh, the SLE screen, you can actually say, uh, I mean, obviously you can say which ones you want to look at uh, in here. And the same can be done at an entire org level as well to say, I don't care about switch health. Show me just the throughput pieces of it. I don't care about, or you would rather say, I want to focus on the successful connect because I want to make sure the clients are connecting. So the, there is customization to a point where you can, you, would, you can say, these are the areas I want to focus on. I'm not sure if, if that, that's what you were looking for. Yeah, I guess I'm looking for, you know, the mythological single pane of glass. Single pane of glass. Uh, so there is mm. report, there are two parts to it. One is active troubleshooting where you're looking at this. And then there is the analytics where we talk about premium analytics. So Nalini will go into great detail about how do you want to see what, what, what was the nature of the network 60 days ago or nine, nine months ago. And then you can compare and contrast. I did this implementation is my life better. So uh, you can look at live troubleshooting from here on, go into exactly the interface of choice or the port of choice, and then subsequently you can also look at analytics pieces of it as well. So those are those are two pieces available.